Welcome. We're standing here in one of MHL's hydraulic modelling facilities. This is where we test scale physical models of large water infrastructure, such as spillways, pump intakes, weirs and hydraulic tanks. The aim of this testing is to look at the hydraulic properties of the spillway and to make sure that it's adequate for large flow. The design of the spillway uh, is based on a preliminary design and the aim of the physical model is actually the final design process. And you, you quantify water surfaces, pressures, velocities to make sure that the dam won't fail under large flow conditions. Uh, this particular spillway is a flip bucket spillway and the aim is to put the energy dissipation downstream of the spillway to ensure erosion doesn't work its way back to the spillway and cause failure of the dam. This is a 1 in 60 scale model and it looks at, at flows up to the PMF which is the probable maximum flood. Some of the key measurements that we undertake for a spillway will be uh, water surface profiles coming down the chute and that's to make sure that the walls are high enough. Uh, we measure pressures on the spillway to ensure that uh, they won't be overloaded and cause erosion during large floods. Uh, we look at the trajectory of the flow to make sure that the erosion patterns downstream are consistent with the design. This flow here is roughly a one in thousand year flow and it replicates the largest flow on record for this particular spillway. We've tested up to the PMF in this particular spillway and it's been adequate for both um, hydraulic properties and erosion potential downstream. Another one of the key aspects of physical modelling of a spillway is the rating curve for the top of the crest and that's key to make sure that the design flow will be able to be passed by the spillway without overtopping the dam crest. And if the dam crest is overtopped, that's potentially catastrophic, which has happened overseas in a number of dams. MHL's random wave flume is one of our most useful coastal modelling devices. It's, this one metre flume is capable of generating random waves, we can generate currents across the structure, we can generate wind across the structure, and we've also a uh, automated carriage that gives us the ability to profile structures very carefully. The flume can be applied to a wide range of coastal and hydraulic applications. You can do it for testing hydraulic structures, uh, coastal structures like uh, seawalls, breakwaters, jetties, uh, floating structures, we can use it for ship motion studies, we can use it for a whole range of other purposes such as calibration, calibration of flows and water levels. In this project we're testing the stability of repairs to Coffs East uh, Breakwater. We're looking at the stability of the armour and the overtopping of the structure. Really we want to make sure that the, the armour will stand up to the worst storm condition we also uh, ensure that the water level is correct for that storm condition as well as sea level rise because we want to make sure that this structure is going to stay up for a very long time.